Well, I strongly believe that revision is the only way to ace any exam. Well, that's how it worked for me. Well, it's always quality over quantity. So in this video, I'll help you understand a strategy that will help you completely revise dental pulse twice in a period of six months, apart from studying your regular subjects. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Noor Saira, an endodontist and a part-time YouTuber. If you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Well, we understand that Dental Pulse is a three-book series which has to be mastered and learned and remembered to be able to at least qualify to answer the questions asked in any form of MDS entrance examination. And it's a pretty, um, you know, extensive series and it's a huge amount of information that needs to be remembered so revision is a very important part of the study pattern so let me help you understand a strategy which can help you revise dental pulse in about six months in a very qualitative way let's go ahead and understand that so let us look at the strategy of how we can complete two revisions of complete dental pulse in an average of five to six months now this is the plan that i'm gonna give you so i do not work on sundays no study for me on sundays sunday is completely a uh, time to relax recover which is much needed by the mind and for you to consistently maintain your schedule you know, throughout those uh, months where you are aggressively studying so you need one day complete break in a week and it's much needed and um, it will keep you energized for the next five to six days okay now the plan is that I in throughout one day I will have minimum of one and a half hours of revision which I will split it uh, to some part in the morning and some part in the evening for example let us say I will give myself 30 minutes of revision every morning and approximately one hour to one hour 15 minutes of revision every night or in the evening whichever is the suitable time for you this is just a flexible schedule that you can create so the idea here is that in that one and a half hour of study each day or one and a half hour of revision each day, I would complete at least two chapters of one subject from Dental Pulse. Okay, so we are completing two chapters of the MCQs of a specific subject from dental parts so apart from this one and a half hours of revision you will have your other subjects going on throughout the day so which is separate now this is just a revision strategy so in one and a half hours every day I will try to complete two chapters per day of, of a specific subject from dental parts which means in about uh, the five days that I have that is from Monday to Friday I will be completing uh, completing approximately 10 subjects. Say, if I'm able to co you know, complete about 90 questions, 200 MCQs per day only for revision, I will be able to complete approximately 500 to 550 MCQs per subject, which is there per subject in Dental Pulse. And hence, I will be completing one subject revision on hourly basis in that one whole week. That is from Monday to Friday in five days. Apart from which, I will also finish one complete subject revision on a Saturday. For now, just know the schedule. I will tell you what actually to revise in that one subject complete revision on a Saturday. Because of course, it's humanly impossible to go through word to word in one single day. So I will tell you how what you should be reading there as to you feel that the entire subject is completed. Okay, now if I follow this rough strategy of uh, two subjects a week of revision, which means in one week I am completing two subjects. So one month has approximately four weeks, which means that in one month I will be able to complete eight subject revisions. So which means in a period of three months, I will be able to revise 24 subject revisions, 
which is complete dental pulse but in our uh, dental uh, studies we have only about 21 subjects so you are you have a buffer time of about three weeks which you can probably use it to cover wherever you were lagging or you can use it to relax okay so if I follow this pattern of completing uh, completing the entire dental pulse revision in three months which means in approximately five to six months I would have completed my dental pulse twice okay so now this hourly one and a half hour revision is probably not so stressful and you're able to complete the uh, revision for one subject in that five days okay but what about this one subject revision that you have to completely complete in one day let's understand that so let me pick up a subject for example biochem now say uh, there are about nine chapters in the latest edition of a uh, dental pulse and approximately it has about 525 questions so say in my first study not in my revision the first time when I am studying uh, biochem from dental pulse from those uh, nine chapters I will find some questions approximately 250 to 300 questions which I will find and um, them as very difficult to solve or these are the questions which I did not know the answer for or which I had you know a confusion between the answers so I will mark these questions that is approximately 25 to 300 questions I will mark them with the help of a pen or a pencil so that the next time I remember that these are the questions where I had difficulty and the other questions are probably from my background knowledge or the theory that I've understood or over a period of years that education that has helped me is helped me answer those other questions okay so in my first study I have basically marked out about 250 to 300 questions which I am finding difficult this is my study this is not my revision so now talking about the revision so probably now I will take up biochem in my full week hourly revision right which is one and a half hours each day and i'll try to complete approximately two chapters of the mcqs every day as a revision form so when i'm revising now again i will find that i have gone wrong in some questions even the questions that i have marked probably i'm going wrong in them again and i'm getting one or two questions which i have marked right which means now probably uh, instead of getting 250 to 300 questions wrong I'm getting approximately 150 to 200 questions wrong so these 150 to 200 questions I will highlight so now I know which are the most troublesome questions of the entire lot which means I have filtered the difficult questions so the questions with only with one circle are something which I had a difficulty before now I know the answer but the circle but the questions with the circle and a highlight is where I am still going wrong but I have revised this in the first revision that is in my weekly one hour one and a half hour revision but now I have filtered these questions to 150 to 200 questions now I know that I have to revise this difficult questions again for that my mind is able to remember or reinforce this memory so that I know that the two times I solved these questions I went wrong but the third time I have to really reinforce these questions into my mind that is this 150 to 200 questions so what I will do I will pick up the subject again for a one day revision wherein I will complete my 150 to 200 questions only and it will be like that I have revised the subject which means if in the first revision I have taken biochem as a one hour one and a half hours weekly subject and I have taken probably anatomy as my one day subject I will inverse it for my second revision 
that is i will take anatomy as a one hour revision in the next revision course of dental pulse that's in the second revision of dental pulse after three months then i will put anatomy down there as a one hourly revision and i will take biochem as my one day difficult question or troublesome question revision so this is a strategy that will help you complete dental pulse uh, complete dental pulse in about uh, five to six months twice I have followed the strategy and it has really helped me along the way and probably helped me achieve a rank 2 in my MDS entrance examination. So let me show you the number of revisions and the way I have studied from my dental pulse and the condition of my book. Well, you can see how many times I have marked, put a tick, highlighted it so that it helps me understand you know, which question is how difficult for me to read. Okay. So this is exactly how you can do, you can narrow down and filter the questions in dental pulse. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share with your friends and also leave a comment below that will help me understand that this video was beneficial. Also, in case you need any form of guidance, you can always contact me on my Instagram page. I will leave the link below. Have a good day and thank you. For more such videos, please like, share, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Thank you.